Right, this is probably the fourth or fifth video of this journey today on the 8th of June 2011. I'm at um, Woolavington. Yeah, I'm at the Blessed Virgin Mary Church and it's shut, everyone. It's one of those that's shut. Unfortunately, that looks like a school, old school over there. Yeah, another one that's shut. Looks like it's got some nice stained glass windows. Always flipping locked. I'll do a little video of the outside. I've taken quite a few photos actually of different graves. There's um, a Watts grave here which could be linked to somebody's R and U, a Kevin Watts. It could have been his dad. So it said um you know, Kevin was mentioned as like as somebody who remembered on the stone, so it could be like a son. And I've got that on there, I took a picture of that. So I've taken lots of, um, not lots, but I've taken various shots of the graveyards, which will be included with this very, very small video that I'm doing. The Blessed Virgin Mary, or something it's called, or something like that. Yeah, I'll just do a quick scan. The rain's kept off, but there are some sort of dodgy looking clouds around for me to, I've got to decide where I'm going next, you see. There's an extension to the graveyard with the newer ones down here. And there's people doing some digging up further down. Yeah, it's set in a nice location. There was a couple of Coombs graves. There's one here, look, Horace Stanley Coombs. A loving husband, father and grandfather who passed away 16th of January 1989, aged 58. He wasn't very old, was he? That one. Yeah, there was another coom somewhere else in here as well. The name Haggett is very, very common. Lots and lots of Haggots and lots of Watts here. Actually, as well, and Cox. That's very pretty, that, isn't it? Just looks like a schoolhouse, doesn't it? There's also a little Methodist church I took photos of, which I should include in the video, which I include as a photo within the video, if you like. Right, it's half past 12 now. I've got to decide where to go next. Yeah, it's a pussy, you can't get in, isn't it? I wonder why people don't want to go to church. They're never flipping open, are they? They shouldn't just be open for Sundays. Look, the plan is now, once reaching the Polden Hills, it's, it's going to take me several trips, is to do each side of the Polden Hills, there's various villages. Cosington could be the one I might do next today. There's Baldrip, Ash, I think it's Ashcut, Catcut. There's loads of them, and they line each side of the Polden Hills. 
So I'm just going to go on this bench, I think, and um, right over and out, everyone. This is the way up. So somebody's gone. Huh. It won't be the way into the church, might not it? Looks like somebody's bloody gone there, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Now there's the church, when are you getting it? No idea. Somebody's house, man. look at that.
Right, it looked to me like there was some... Uh, private way in. And, um... I bet this one would be locked as well. But you only think this one would be locked. This is Cosington Church, by the way. I think that's the path I'm supposed to come up. I bet your life it'd be locked. Yeah. Come all this way and you can never get into these churches. There's an old miller stone there for grinding your wheat on. The closest I'm getting is looking through there. I know it's a 13th century church, this. And it looks like it's within the grounds of some mansion. Some big house. See? Never mind, I'll do a little video of it. Can't get in, there's another one I'll be ticked, but you probably have to come at the weekend, you see, to get into these places. It looks very pretty, it looks like it's got some beautiful stained glass windows inside. You think, well I suppose thieves do get in, that's the thing. And um... It's unfortunate, isn't it? <sighs> More Watts, the second Watts grave I've come across since I found that one that could be related to Kevin Watts. There's another one. Enough in memory of Mum and Dad, Eleanor Blanche Watts and John Arthur Watts. Just says 1974, rest in peace. So all I'm doing really is just having a look. See there's like a private house behind. I walked up that driveway. Because you, if you're unaware, see, you won't know. How to get in here. Yes, I can see some beautiful stained glass windows in there, you know. Really, really beautiful. It's probably why it's locked. In there, I don't know if it'll come out on the video, but... It's a magnificent stained glass window in there. And we can't get in. How stupid is that? Oh, I don't know what's in behind. What's up there even? Right, well that seems to be it. I'll just go around taking some photos now, everyone. Over and out.